Hello and welcome to an inkdependence.com brief video review and water drop test. Uh, this time I've got two cans umber, which is probably my favorite of these inks, as I say here-ish. Uh, this is, I uh, get some sun on this situation here. Oh, goodness, this is sort of a medium brown ink. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Yeah, there you go. You can see a lot of shading in this one. Uh, I didn't have any problems with hard starts or any of that nonsense. Uh, this ink behaves very well. Uh, you get a little bit of shading on good paper. Uh, I haven't seen any sheen. I didn't really expect to see any, so that's fine. Uh, not disappointed. Uh, the flow is excellent. It doesn't really bleed, feather, or spread. Uh, on my copy paper, I saw a couple of tiny little feathers, as I note here, but uh, nothing really serious. Yeah, it's very good stuff. Um, you can see here, let me take a seat. It's hard to bend over. I've been trying to get the sun just right. It's kind of hard videotaping these things outside, it turns out. Uh, by the way, I'm in my backyard here in uh, beautiful North Carolina. There you go, there's some pansies for you. Um, this is a uh, much darker sort of brown than the uh, Cacao de Brazil from Jay Hervin, which I like a lot, but uh, I didn't really have any other browns inked up at the moment, which is weird for me. Uh, this is uh, Alamos Twilight, which is a Drum Ghouls exclusive uh, in Texas. This is a Noodler's ink. Uh, it's kind of a brownish red, and you're going to see a lot more red there than you do in the umber, so uh, that gives you maybe some idea of what this one looks like. Please check out the website for uh, all sorts of pictures and all that sort of jazz. Um, Alright, let's get this water test going here. Let's see. Here's my testy thing. And there we go. Shazam. All right. Not shocked that I'm seeing a fair amount of ink coming up here. These two can inks don't really tend to have much in the way of water resistance, if anything at all. Uh, as you can see, the browns are swirling away there. Get a fresh new uh, ink wipey thing here. All right, there you go. Yeah, so <laughs> nice grid lines on here, but uh, kind of everything gone from the paper. So yeah, not really water resistant at all. Um, I've j only just done the chromatography for this ink. So here it is, it's still a little bit damp, but man, this, has got, this is probably the most complex of these uh, uh, toucan inks. Usually they're kind of monochromatic because they're mixing inks and they sort of lack saturation. This one's much more saturated than they, they usually are. Uh, and you can see all sorts of colors in there. Really beautiful orange up at the top, and some brown, and a little bit of blue. Brown? Well, I mean, it's kind of a, might be a brown. It's probably just the interface where they're all mixing together. Um, so I guess if you want to make a brown, mix these guys up from toucans. Probably just other toucan inks mixed together, if I had to guess. Get out of here, shoe fly. Shoe! Alright. Uh, so this one's still a little bit wet. It's going to be a little paler than average, but nonetheless, very cool looking ink, I think. It reminds me of um, Sailor's, uh, what's that brown one in the new set? Um, do you, D O Y O U, or Do Yo, uh, something of that nature, but it looks a lot like this one. So, anyway, this is a very cool ink from uh, Toucan. I'm a big fan of this one. In fact, the next couple I'm a big fan of. Um, oh, the sun has come out. Man, now I can't see my phone screen. All right, well, anyway, let's call Let's wrap this one up. Maybe outside is a thing I won't do super often. But this has uh, been Toucan's Umber. Please go and check it out at uh, andersonpens.com or .net comes in these little sample vials, they're three mil samples, or you can get a uh, big bag, they come in a bag, which is a very cool way to ship ink, I think. Uh, you probably will need a syringe or have your own uh, ink well, perhaps, to uh, really get the ink out of there and into a pen. You're not going to be filling it up in the bag, that sounds like a dangerous proposition. Uh, this ink is well priced uh, and uh, only available at Anderson Pens, so give them a little bit of business, they are good folk, and uh, thanks very much to Brian and Lisa for sending these out to me. Now, if you are a big fan of Ink Dependence, as I know you are, come check out Ink Dependence, or rather, uh, patreon.com slash ink dependence uh, to find out how you can help keep the blog afloat. Uh, every single dollar uh, does help out uh, in a small operation like this, so uh, become a patron if you want to. All right, see you guys later. Peace out.